Hi guys, welcome to Dee Dee's Dolly Den. As you can see, I'm in a hospital gown again. I'm back in the hospital. Um, I went to the ER about a week ago complaining of all the symptoms for um, uh, cardiac. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so tired. Congestive heart failure. There you go. And they said, oh, no, it's, you know, just your blood pressure. Go home, get some rest. They lied to me. My blood test showed that I was going into car, uh, congestive heart failure. So I made an appointment with my doctor this week about my blood pressure. And I told her the symptoms I was having. And that's the symptoms that they were looking for. And if I had them, I was to be seen. I went to the ER and this is what I was told. And she, she did a bunch of blood work, and she did call my cardi, cardiologist. They couldn't see me till the 17th, and she's going to set up an echocardiogram, but we, it, that takes time to do. So I got sent home. This was at, at the appointment yesterday. I worsened last night. I had shortness of breath. I couldn't sleep, was up and down, was coughing. I have a small wheeze, and that goes hand in hand with it. Um, just miserable feeling. So I came to the surge or came to the hospital that did my heart surgery and I walked in and they hooked me up to a heart monitor and I am going into, um, I am going into congestive heart failure with, um, with trying to have a heart attack. My EKG was reading some pretty funky stuff. They did do a test for my leg because it is swollen on a blood clot. But they don't have me on Lasix anymore. I was only on them for a short time because my kidney functioning has gotten progressively worse. So with that said, they couldn't keep me on Lasix. But no one has bothered to see about a different medication, which they do have, that works for that. So um, now I'm back here in the hospital and I'm about to lay down, but I wanted to make a video and let everybody know where I'm at. Um, they come and give me my meds tonight. I got a Lovenox shot in my belly because they don't do the, the pills like I take at home, blood thinners. They do it through the belly. So waiting on my sonogram results on my leg. My blood test showed congestive heart failure. My numbers were up on it. My numbers were a little elevated like having a heart attack but he said that goes hand in hand with the the you know the congestive heart failure so i'm on a uh, fluid restriction now when i left this hospital i was told drink 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 all you could drink because of my kidneys we need to get them flushed because you got another surgery coming i was doing what they were telling me to do and it's you got one doctor over here telling you to do it and then you got another doctor over here saying no i shouldn't do it they need to get their stuff together before they tell their patients stuff. So now I'm back on a re fluid restriction. And if this is going to be the case, I will stay on my fluid restriction. And they're just going to have to figure it out with the kidneys. Why I'm here, I'm going to ask if I can be seen by a urologist. Because none of these are urologists and none of them know what they're doing. So with that said, my blood pressure is extremely high. It's been high since I had surgery. And I've got one doctor tell me, oh, we'll let this doctor handle it. Then the other doctor says, let that doctor handle it. And no one's handling it. And my blood pressure is still really high. So that's getting addressed while we're here, too. The doctors have been really good about that. So, yeah, um, I was going to make a video this morning. But, of course, I didn't go to bed till like, 730 and I had to lay in, in a way, and I'm still having to lay that way here because I feel like I'm, my lungs are being crushed, is what it feels like. So I'm not sleeping well. I'll sleep a little bit, and I'll wake up, and I'm setting up. And I lay down, and I wake up, and I'm setting up. So that's what this nasty stuff does. But anyway, I'm going to let you all go. You all have a wonderful, wonderful New Year's Eve. I'll probably be celebrating it right here, which is fine. We don't do anything with New Year's anyway. My husband and I generally are asleep on New Year's Eve before it rings in. So, but I hope you all have a blessed time. If I have to stay one more night, my daughter's going to bring up a baby to me. 
and I told her to grab Archer, who is on my bed. And I just told her she didn't have to pack him in clothes. Just bring him what he's got. I'll just love on him in a sleeper. And maybe a baby blanket to wrap him in, but that's it. So, anyway, you all take care, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.